Um, before I do um, share my story and get into it, I really want to hand it back to Sahel, um, Alicia, all the leaders that's come down today, CEO, Hassan, Ali, they've done an amazing job, you know, putting this all together. It's not easy launching a new market. So if we can give a big round of applause to those leaders. So, I go by the name of Bells. I've been a part of the industry for about eight years. Um, I didn't have a great start. My first three and a half years in the industry, I was with a company, you know, selling gas and electricity. And um, some of you might have known that who that company Sorry, is. Um, in three years, I think I made a total of five thousand pounds. Jesus. In three years, and guys, I was I was going hard. Like it wasn't three years of tiptoeing or three years of part-time work, I was going hard, sacrificing everything. So I had a very, very slow start to the industry, but those three years made me the leader that I am today. That's where I learned everything. And some of you may be in that situation where you're quite new to the space, you've been around for a few months, maybe one or two years, and you haven't had your breakthrough yet. But I'm telling you, if you keep on going, that breakthrough is going to come. You know, my second company was within Forex and Trading. Some of you may know who that company is. That was the company that, you know, I first got my major breakthrough. You know, hit multiple six figures um, within that company. And last year, what I realized about the industry is people don't want to pay for education alone, right? When it comes to trading, crypto, you know, Forex, people don't want to pay for trading for education alone. So I started looking at ways to partner with companies where they offer automation. People loved it, right? So the last year, um, this year actually, last, late last year and this year, is where I had my major, major, major breakthrough. I'm talking built teams of thousands, volume of more than 15 million in volume, right? But what I found was a lot of these companies that provide automation, provide return on investments, usually in a crypto space, they come with major risk. Major, major risk. And this year, when the crypto crash happened, they will remember the, the crypto crash earlier in this year? It's still happening. All of the crypto companies in the space that are offering ROIs, well, at least 90% of them collapsed. And I was leading an organization with more than 15 million in volume. So you can imagine the pressure of all that money kind of on your head. I mean, you're not responsible, but you kind of feel responsible when you're leading the movement. So for me, I took a step back from the space um, just to really analyze my next move and understand what it is I'm looking for. But I think it's very, very important that you guys understand the journey because it can help you understand that you guys are in the right place right now. So I was looking for three things, right? And Sahil spoke about it. Uh, we met a few times, we were going back and forth with so many different companies. I think we probably heard and spoke to every single company within the industry, right? Because I was not stopping until we found it. The three things I was looking for is number one, a company that can provide education in a financial space. For me, I believe that is the foundation, education. Number two was a company that could provide a return on investment because most people don't want to pay for just education alone. They want some way to make money automated or at least semi-automated. But number three was the top of my list, a company that could provide safety and security of our clients' funds. So what really ticked me, when I heard that your funds stays within your broker and you have 100% control, I was sold. I was sold on a concept, but I wasn't sold in here yet to really go out and build because I've been let down so many times in the past by empty promises and companies that promise the world but do not deliver, right? So it really took me a while to get to the stage where I'm ready to go all in, which was literally just this week, right? And one thing I'll leave you with, there's four things that I learned from my millionaire mentor in my last um, venture of the four things you wanna look for when it comes to analyzing any company. And the first thing is the product. Does the product work? And will you use the product without the compensation plan? Now, who here's you know plugged into a phenom? Right, the phenom works. It's premium, right? <laughs> it works. So, uh, the product I would generally use the product without the compensation plan, right? Without anything else, I would use it. The product works and it has you know a two-three year track record 
of proven results. So it's a no-brainer. Number two was the compensation plan. For me, I've seen tens and tens and tens of compensation plans. I've built tens of compensation plans in terms of affiliate marketing. This is hands down the most aggressive compensation plan that I've ever seen, right? A binary system that doesn't have volume flushing, doesn't have, you know, we just get paid on a week leg, and it's a very, very simple compensation plan. It's simple and it's duplicatable, right? So that's number two. Number three was the leadership. And for me, this was difficult because when I saw this, um, this company, the only leader that I previously knew was Sahel. So in terms of leadership, there wasn't much to go off, right? But me knowing Sahil very well, we've known each other for the last three to four years. In the last year, we've become very, very close. Um, he's somebody that I know that I could follow when it comes to leadership. So in terms of leadership, my decision was based on Sahil and Alicia as well, no. right? And that's when I now got introduced to Ali, you know, Hassan, but this was before I spoke to these individuals. Leadership was what I was looking at. For you guys in the room, you guys don't have to, you know, look at it that way because there's a buffet of leaders flowing through this organization. And most of them haven't even gone public yet. There's some big names that you guys will be shocked to hear about, but they haven't come public yet. So in terms of leadership, this is, this is the right place. And the last one was the vision of the company. I've had a vision for my organization, is we want to create 10 millionaires and 106 figure earners in 2023. So when I sat down with Hassan a few days ago, and we spoke about what the company vision was, it aligned right with my vision. Does the comp plan, does the products, can that help me get to my vision? And, and does the founder have a vision to take it that far? You know, the first big goal is that we want to bring in a million customers and impact them through the products that we have, right? Now, last but not least, a lot of you in the room might be in a situation that I was in where you've been disappointed in the past. One thing I'll say is don't let your previous experiences rob you from an opportunity like this. Every single opportunity has a lifetime, okay? Every single opportunity has a lifetime. Right now, you're looking at, everyone in this room is experiencing, whether you know it or not, the opportunity of a lifetime. But it's not gonna make any difference if you don't take advantage of this opportunity within its lifetime. So on that note, I'm gonna hand it back to Sahel and uh, God bless you, good luck. <laughs>